Hey everyone, welcome to the Shanghai Auto Show 2023. I'm gonna go right into this one because I'm here with Marcus Flash, you know, in former MCEO. And for the past few years, he's had a new role and we're here to talk about that, but also some of the products you're in charge of. So let's start off with first, what's your new role? Um, nice meeting you again. You too, way. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, the new role is product line, uh, middle class, upper class, BMW and Rolls Royce. Okay. So I'm growing up. Okay, great, clearly. So now you're responsible. Miss business, but now I'm doing big cars. <laughs> so you're not just a few M products. Now you go from three series all the way to Rolls Royce, basically, Correct. right? Yeah, the i7 is the flagship. Okay. Here in uh, Wildberry. In, okay. um, really cool color, X560, actually. X560, yeah. It's a fantastic car. Have you ever driven it? It's the benchmark in the luxury I did. class. Yeah, sedan. and I'm actually excited to drive the other one, which we're going to talk about in a second. Yeah. But let's start with I this one. I you will. <laughs> I can't wait, honestly, because it has a lot more horsepower. So tell me about the electrification at BMW, right? So we've started with the Clark architecture and all of that, now we're moving into new e class but this is still the Clark. So let's talk about this. Maybe tell me some of the insights, some of the feedback you received from customers so far. I mean, we're always technology open. Uh, yeah. Last year we did about 15% uh, all electric vehicles overall. Okay. And this uh, will increase. The i7 for us, it, first is a seven series, yeah. okay. and then it's a battery electric seven okay. series. We wanted again to set the benchmark in the luxury uh, sedan mm -hmm. segment, and I think we, we clearly achieved this uh, with the i7. Okay. So if you, have you had a chance to talk to customers, what were some of the feedback that you've received from them for, regarding the i7? Were they excited about the technology inside, or were they excited about the driving experience? Maybe some anecdotes that you can share. Now, what I just mentioned, it, that in the first place, it's a luxury class sedan, okay. and then it's a BEV, so in the second uh, Citro, you got everything you would expect from a 7 Series. Leg room, the panoramic display, um, material quality, um, space. It's a 7 Series, okay. and then it's a BEV. So it's not a compromise in terms of aerodynamics and ergonomics. Uh -huh. okay. It's a 7 Series, and okay. it's efficient, and it's a BEV. And this one is the first one to have also the theater screen. Everybody who sees it for the first time is hugely impressed. Okay. Um, the way it moves down, the way it folds up, um, the way you can operate it and, and get all your content on it that you use from your living room, yeah. it's just spectacular. And it's, it's a one, one and only. Gotcha. So now when it comes to future plans as far as electrification, what should we expect? Anything you can share today maybe? Well, with the Neue Klasse, we will have our first uh, PEV only or PEV centric uh, architecture that's okay. due to be launched in 2025. Okay. Uh, it's going to be spectacular. Okay. Uh, we're going also to the next level of uh, user interaction. Okay. Brand new and, and uh, groundbreaking, okay. I'd say. Now, when it comes to M electrified vehicles, I mean, we have so far three, right? So the i4 M50, we have the iX M60, and now, of course, we have the i7 M70. Yeah. So the M70 pretty much represents the pinnacle of the electrification of BMW right now. Also, we spend a lot of time understanding our customer demands. Okay. And uh, you know, that especially at, at M, we have never been strict on the one or the other technology. Okay. Uh, we incorporate the all-wheel drive, we, we incorporate the turbocharged engine, so whatever boosts performance, whatever uh, enhances performance yeah. will resonate with our clients, so expect the greatest of all electric okay. vehicles under the M brand. Gotcha, right. And I've seen you driving the i7 quite a bit, you know, in Austria and all these nice places. Yeah. <laughs> um, what would be your color choice if you were to have it as a company car? Or maybe you have it as a company car, I'm not sure. It's too large for my garage. Okay, so, okay. What would be the color uh, that you would go for? Would it be like a two-tone or would it be like plain? I like the Wildberry color on this okay. one, but uh, the, the two-tone uh, gray and black, uh, M760E that we have on display here is probably okay. my favorite. Was that a technology challenge to come up with that two-tone painting process? It's, it's a lot of effort that it takes in the factory. Okay. Technology-wise, it's not that complicated, but it takes a lot of capacity, okay. and it takes a lot of labor to get that done in the quality that we require. Was the customer's response to that fairly positive, that you have that option over two-tone? Yes, especially. Especially yeah. here in China. Yeah. Um, people like it. It's uh, classy but expressive, mm -hmm. uh, and two-tone is probably one of the most effective measures. I know there is a lot of tech that was embedded into the car, like you know the automatic door openings and yeah. all of that. What was the reason to offer some of these luxury comfort items? Well, we call it like a grand arrival. Okay. Um, and opening from the outside is, is the one feature, but the most spectacular thing is when you arrive and you just press a button right uh, on the center okay. display 
and you can distinguish whether one door or all four doors open. Yeah. This is something, especially my family, they are um, crazy they love to about do that, it. Yeah. All right, so I think it's time to go see that cool two-tone i7 yeah, M70 because there are a lot more things to talk about there. So we're going to head down there and take a look. Here is the BMW i7 M70. Liquid copper. Liquid copper. Honestly, it goes really well with the car, and especially with the black sapphire. Yeah. But honestly, this one gives the car a more luxurious look instantly, to be yeah, honest. We haven't done it in a while, but uh, we, we thought it just fits uh, the car perfectly in the two-tone. Is this the one that was on the i8 roster or similar to that one? Similar. Similar yeah. to that one, gotcha. Yeah. I mean, it really stands out. I've seen the photos from Dubai, which were really, really good. It just fits perfectly right there. So tell me the philosophy behind the i7 M70, right? Electrified M i7, what should we expect as far as driving dynamics and then of course about some other features? Well, this is a rocket, uh, 485 uh, okay. uh, kilowatts, sorry. Um, shoots 0 100 in uh, you know, 3.7. Okay, fast. It's enormously capable, yeah. yet uh, very comfortable, no compromise. And it's interesting because there is also a new tech on it. It's called Max Range from what I heard. And essentially you can still emphasize the range over power, which is quite cool because not yeah. everybody wants to have all that power instantly. And I guess, is that a feature that will trickle down to other i7s or is it just specific to the M70? No, it's not specific to the M70. Okay. It gives you an extra range uh, when, <laughs> when, you, when you squeeze the battery course, uh, too yeah. much yeah. Uh, to, to make you come back to the next uh, charging yeah. station. Yeah. I mean, in my i3, as an anecdote, the, the max range in my car means I'm going to wear a hat, I'm going to wear a jacket and gloves, and that's and my max range. Off. Exactly. There is no we wouldn't heat. go as far with, as so with the 7, but similar that's my, concept. So I'm actually happy to see there is a max range, actually, that I can pick. So that's, that's quite cool. All right, then the you other thing. <laughs> yeah, let's hop inside, because I think there is a new operating system, iDrive, and then we yeah. can talk about that a little bit. All right, so inside the i7 M70 before we even talk about this and all the new changes. Honestly, I do love the cashmere combination with leather. Um, once again, what was the response from customers? Because they're so used to like leather being premium and luxurious. And I had a chance to see the cashmere in a silver, like yeah. silverstone color, Grayish. which was yeah. grayish, really, really nice. But first time that I see it in this black grayish, which looks really cool. So tell me, what was the reason behind this really? Well, as you, as you mentioned, everybody's used to leather as being a statement of, of luxury in a car. And yeah. this is kind of an experiment because it's secondary luxury. Okay. People would, from a distance, you might think it's a fabric seat, mm -hmm. but yeah. uh, once you touched it and once you've sat in it for, for a while, you, can, you would understand that this is probably the ultimate uh, seating material when it comes to breathability and, and comfort. It's just so nice. Uh, what, Again, you get everything of what you what you're used from from pullovers or from yeah. from high fashion scarves and stuff. And then, of course, you know, being a kind of like an M70, you know, M product, then you have this idea of a carbon fiber trim. Yeah, but this is, is not just carbon fiber. We uh, oh, it's a different, we okay. incorporated uh, silver linings. To okay, it. so they're inside. Okay, it's I can see a little bit. It's real material, real okay. real metal, to give it this uh, crystallic and, yeah. uh, and sparkling effect. And yeah. is this specific to the M70 or is something that you eventually we, will be uh, able... I think we, we bring it to the market with the M70, but okay. it will be available on so the others. Any customer can actually yeah. order it. Understood. Now, of course, we have to talk a little bit about this because one of the biggest changes really in the uh, uh, i7 family right now is the addition of this uh, operating system, iDrive 8.5 which will come to other models and nine as well. And I believe there is a new function called uh, Quick Select. Yeah. Digital is, is one of our three priorities and uh, eyes on the road, oh, hands yeah. on the wheel to be a mantra and then the uh, latest upgrade of the operating system is, is just a consequence out of it. We have it map based so the, the right. base layer is always is the map and then you put your icons on top of it and direct access to the climate functions okay. is enhanced compared to the, to the current system. To the current system, okay. Uh, I didn't realize that. Like in, in the center. Gotcha. Oh, right, yeah, because you actually can go faster now and adjust things. Very interesting. So a lot quicker to, um, to adjust things aside from the personal assistant and voice commands and all of that. Yeah, I'll have a chance to chat with digital experts today and they're going to go into a lot more details. I love the fact that you still have this steering wheel in the car with a flat bottom. I've been advocating to see this in some M cars, to be honest, because yeah. I find it to be you will. really nice. Yeah, I mean, hopefully. Hopefully, because it just fits the car's profile, you know, either it's an M5 or a 7 Series, it just works brilliantly, so I'm happy to see this. So once again, i7 M70, I guess the next step will be to get some time behind the wheel and then see how it drives, but I trust that you had a chance to drive this one. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, 
It's actually um, going to be to my weekend car. Oh yeah. Coming weekend. Yeah. Do we expect some content on your own Instagram? I see the car like all the time because I see. I, see. Yeah. I don't know yet. <laughs> Did you pick the color yet or? No, I don't know. Actually, it's, it's a camo. It, the car is camouflaged mm. until today. This yeah. is the world premiere. Yeah. So they're taking off the the gotcha. camouflage and then. Gotcha. I'll see what what's underneath. Understood. And our final question, really, should we expect any other? Let's focus on the you know the the top end. Any M electrified models in the future? Yes. Okay, but no, nothing that we can talk about today, right? Okay, <laughs> understood. Well, Marcus, thank you so much. I'm excited to see also the new iClassic because I think that will be a game changer and we'll see a lot of cool products coming out. And then, of course, uh, once I drive the car, I can give you more feedback on this one. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks for Good having to see me. see you again. You too. We'll see you next time.